Hey, it's Will with Sonda Creative, and I'm going to show you how to emulate a watercolor painting in Photoshop. Now for starters, you're going to want to use a watercolor paper texture to sell this effect. If you have any watercolor paper around, feel free to just take a picture of that with some good lighting, or feel free to use this one that you can find in the description below. Make sure the image of the paper is isolated, and then go to Edit, Define Pattern. Name it whatever is easiest for you, and then hit OK. Now that that's out of the way, get your image ready to go and hit Command or Control J to duplicate it. Convert it to a smart object and then hide the original one. Make a new layer and then go to Edit, Fill, and set it to white. Double click on the layer to bring up the Styles window and go to Pattern Overlay. If it doesn't come up right away, hit this arrow and scroll down to the bottom where the pattern you just made should be waiting for you. Select it and if it doesn't fill the whole canvas, just mess with the scale until it gets to a size that you like. Hit OK, make another layer, and select both of these layers. Right click and hit Merge Layers. And now set the blending mode to Multiply. Now it's time to add some features to our subject. Click on it and then go to Filter, Filter Gallery. In the Artistic folder, select Dry Brush and set the brush size to 10, the detail to 5, and the texture to 1. Now we have to go right back to the Filter Gallery. Ordinarily, we would do this in the same step, but we need to be able to edit these filters separately. Select Cut Out, set the number of levels to 7, and the other sliders all the way to the left. Now hit OK again, and then double click on this icon to edit the blending mode of that filter. Drop its opacity to 50% and hit OK. Now go to Adjustments and click on Levels. Now in your Levels layer, drag these sliders a bit to deepen some of these colors. Optionally, if you want to brighten it up even further, you can add a vibrance layer and adjust it to where you think looks good. Now select your subject and while holding Alt, add a layer mask. Now it's time for the fun part. We're going to do some painting. Hit B for brushes and in your layer mask, make sure your colors are set to black and white with white being on top. If it isn't, just hit X to toggle them. Now right click to bring up your brush settings and go to Legacy Brushes. If they aren't already there, you can find them by hitting the gear for settings. Make sure these three guys are checked and then hit Legacy Brushes. Now scroll all the way to the bottom of Legacy Brushes, hit Wet Media, and then scroll all the way to the bottom of that to get to the Watercolor Brushes. Any of these are going to work in some way, but if you want a good all-rounder, go with the Watercolor Texture Surface Brush. Now just start drawing over your canvas and your image will come back into view. Make sure that when you reveal the first portion, you try your best to do it all with one click of your mouse. The reason being the cool feature of the watercolor brushes that makes them only reveal a dull amount of the images at first. Once you have your base layer done, you can do some more passes slowly letting in more and more color around the areas you want. If you want to make this effect even greater, you can drop the opacity on the brush as well. Also, if for whatever reason Photoshop won't give you access to those legacy brushes, you can get basically the same effect by just choosing a good art brush from your selection, and then just lowering the opacity of it before you start. And that's all there is to it. Play around with this one and let us know what you want to see next. Even though working on design projects may be a lot of fun, it's still incredibly time consuming and even challenging. To help you save time while still creating good work, we've got design templates for Photoshop, which allow you to finish projects within minutes instead of hours. So if you want to start saving time now, start by checking out our links in the description below.